The Institute for Quantum Computing is a, a research institute that brings together mathematicians, scientists and engineers with a diverse range of expertise to advance the field of quantum information science and technology. The institute focuses on four, four research areas, quantum computing, quantum communication, quantum sensors and quantum materials. In my lab, we are building a, a, a trapped ion quantum computer that we hope is going to be encoding information in a completely different way that we think may eventually make quantum computers perform better. Trapped ions have so far been one of the cleanest ways to encode quantum information, and we also have all of the tools that we'll need to scale up to a larger system with them. For example, rather than encoding two states worth of information per trapped ion, maybe we could make use of three or five, and in that way, code more information into the same hardware. I research methods to characterize and optimize the performance of large-scale quantum devices. This is a really exciting area to be working on because it's actually a very hard technical problem. Quantum systems are extremely complicated to describe and the things that can go wrong with them are even more complicated. We use techniques from randomization and group theory to engineer a simple form of noise so that we can predict how a quantum computer is going to perform for specific applications and also so we can characterize and optimize the performance of individual operations. Quantum key distribution could potentially be used by banks and governments to share private information between two locations. Here at the Institute for Quantum Computing, we're working on developing the Quantum Encryption and Science Satellite. The goal of the project is to share an encryption key between the ground and a satellite, and also do some fundamental science tests. It's exciting because the field is relatively young and new, so all the technologies that come out from it will be something that we haven't necessarily seen before. So in my research group, we develop nanoscale devices to generate, manipulate, and detect single particles of light. And we also generate entanglement. So one part of my research is in quantum sensing, would have real world applications in uh, remote sensing. For example, the Department of Defense, where they could utilize this technology to harness the entanglement to get higher quality images than what's possible with current technology. Our research falls into this general category uh, of the study of quantum materials. More specifically, we study a subset of quantum materials uh, called two-dimensional quantum materials. And in addition, we can artificially recombine materials to form heterostructures. And then these material systems then could show novel physical properties that don't exist in, in the bulk form. In order to study these materials, we make magnetic tunnel junctions, and this is actually something being used in uh, MRAM, for instance, in memory technology. So potentially down the line, right, if these, uh, if, if these devices show uh, intriguing properties, potentially it can be used for uh, next generation spintronic devices. The Quantum Valley is an ecosystem that brings together uh, researchers, uh, venture capital, startup companies and entrepreneurs to accelerate the commercialization of quantum technology. IQC serves as the hub of the Quantum Valley in that it connects to all of the other uh, partners in the, in the ecosystem. Having uh, the, the Quantum Valley ecosystem in Waterloo um, has uh, helped us attract the critical mass of uh, talent required to advance this field. Um, brings together a lot of uh, shared infrastructure that can support particularly the experimental uh, efforts and has drawn uh, uh, investment to support uh, the startup and commercialization of the research. Quantum Benchmark is a startup that I co-founded with Joseph Emerson. Its mission is to enable quantum computers to be used to solve real-world problems. We were able to create Quantum Benchmark because the intellectual property policies here at the University of Waterloo are very favourable. We have what is called a creator-owned IP policy, which means that any intellectual property created by a researcher belongs to the researcher. I think the future of quantum computing is going to be building an even more interdisciplinary team and even more collaborations than what we've already had going. And I think we're going to be seeing that these larger teams are able to really build exciting devices. The goal for quantum computing isn't just to build a quantum computer, to use it. And IQC will provide both 
graduates who are trained to use quantum computers, who know how to actually create quantum algorithms, and also the fundamental research on new algorithms of interest so that we can actually get the benefits from these devices. Information is physical. So that could be light pulses uh, traveling down a fiber, it could be the, the sound waves and the, the vibrations of the air molecules be between us. Ultimately, those physical systems are governed by the theory of quantum mechanics. And when we can start to harness the quantum properties of light and matter, it turns out we can do things that are impossible if we don't use those properties. So bringing these quantum effects into information technologies is what this field is all about.